the civil servant responsible for drawing up the draconian lockdown measures imposed on ordinary Britons has today admitted holding leaving drinks during COVID restrictions. Dozens of officials were said to have attended the leaving drinks for Kate Josephs. The former Director General of the Government's COVID Task Force has this afternoon apologised for a gathering held in the run-up to Christmas 2020. It is said to have taken place on the same evening the office of the UK's most senior civil servant, Cabinet Secretary Simon Case, also held a bash. At the time London was in Tier 3 restrictions with people prohibited from mixing indoors with anyone outside their household bubble. The latest party is now understood to be being looked at as part of a wider investigation into rule-breaking gatherings held by the government during the pandemic being carried out by senior civil servant Sue Gray. Ms Josephs, who is now Chief Executive of Sheffield City Council, has said she is truly sorry for the anger the drinks will have caused. She said, as people know I previously worked in the Cabinet Office COVID Task Force where I was Director General from July 2020 to December 18, 2020. I have been cooperating fully with the Cabinet Office investigations and I do not want to pre-EMPT the findings of the investigation. However as Chief Executive of Sheffield City Council I am responsible for leading the organisation and working with partners across the city and region to support our COVID response and recovery, she said, as people know I previously worked in the Cabinet Office COVID Task Force where I was Director General from July 2020 to December 18, 2020. I have been cooperating fully with the Cabinet Office investigations and I do not want to pre-EMPT the findings of the investigation. However as Chief Executive of Sheffield City Council I am responsible for leading the organisation and working with partners across the city and region to support our COVID response and recovery. That is why I have decided to make a statement. On the evening of 17 December, I gathered with colleagues that were at work that day, with drinks, in our office in the Cabinet Office, to mark my leaving the civil service. 